we have a 6,000 milliamp battery, 6S, and 22.2 .2 volts because you're going to need 24 volts. That's what they recommended for the starter on the Airjet, the AliExpress Airjet, the DLE 170s. How do we know what to set the amperage at? So since this is a 6,000 milliamp, we're gonna just use that rule of thumb. Let me get it first to balance. That's what it's gonna open up to. When you first plug it in, it's gonna start with a lipo charge, but we want balance charge. And so you notice it's set at two amps right now. Um, just a rule of thumb, since this is 6,000 milliamps, we don't necessarily have to do any math. We're just going to bump that up once we slow that light. down if you need to. There, I'm at six amp. I hit start. Now it's gonna move over to volts. It's already at the setting I need. And that's gonna start our charging. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the battery because it's gonna need to analyze and look for the battery. Now my battery didn't have the connector I needed for the DLE 170 starter. So I had to make my own. So the, I left the connector on the battery to touch. Like if that battery is connected, I don't want a short. So what I'm gonna do to prevent that, is I'm gonna hook up, I'm gonna hook up the negative first, always do negative first, especially if it's hooked to a battery. Then I'm gonna plug in the positive just to get in the habit of that. Then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna connect these connectors. All right, so there we go. Now I need to connect the 6S. So you can see I have a bunch of different starts here. That'll select my amps, and then I'm gonna hold this down. And it's gonna do battery check. So it says confirm and enter. So I hit enter, and so now we've got our charge started. So I can go back over here to status, and hit increase, and that shows me where my charge is for each cell. And that gives me, once it says balance here, it gives me the time that it's charging. And at the end of this, we're going to see that it'll say stop. So some chargers may have different readings, but that's how you're gonna charge your battery if you've never used a LiPo charger. Now this charger will also do other so battery go time. to increase right here. See where it says balance, that's how we would charge it. There's fast charging storage that's what you want to use it'll bring some of that charge out so that you won't get the swelling because you don't want to store it you don't want to do discharge because if you left it connected here it would totally drain your batter battery and that could ruin your battery or will ruin your battery and i don't want to do standard charge because i want it to be balanced between those six cells that are in there and that's what this connection does here is it allows this charger to read each cell and the charge that's going to it but and kind of regulate what's going on. So I want to keep it on lipo balance. My cord's a little loose here. And you want to make sure that when you plug in that the power supply can actually handle the amount of amperage and volts that you're going to deliver to it. Otherwise, you'll burn it up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. I'm going to go back to where it says 20 volts, and then I'm going to hold. Battery check and wait. I'm gonna let it hit confirm and enter, and it's charging now. So I'm just gonna let it charge.